to duck backstage, take a powder. The audience is a little murderous tonight. No idea. Woke up here, thought I was dreaming for a second. Right back on the stage, the mic. Thought I was back at the fronds. Well, except no audience used to pack theatres back then. So, stepped up on the stage, checked things out. Then suddenly, holograms walked out of the wings. They started raising their hands to their heads, all creepy-like. Not a good sign. Look, those ghosts are going to come out of the wings behind you in a second. The security types, not the friendly, bald types. And if you got in here, the door's probably locked tight behind you, so don't back up or run for the exit. You're not going to make it. Trust me, as soon as you can, run to the door to the left. Use the key you got out of the music rag there and camp out. As bad as things are, it's going to get a lot worse if either of us pops. So get backstage until we get a better plan. What? Oh, uh, my left, your right. So yeah, run to the door on your right. <laughs> Almost got you killed there. Us killed there. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. When you get the door open, there'll be an exit door dead ahead. Don't take it. It's most likely filled with toxins from the vents, so hug the wall. Make as much space between you and the door, or it's cloud nine in a casket. Past that is my dressing room. Under the table, there's a footlocker. It's tucked back a bit, so you might miss it. Inside, a gun, some ammo. Not much help against the ghosts. Still, if you're about to give up, call it quits. Throw it to me, so I can eat a bullet first. Yeah, yeah, right. So, let's see. Security's here because the show hasn't started. Guests aren't allowed in, so guess we need to start the show. <clears throat> okay, so when they were setting this place up, we had rehearsals, and uh, <laughs> Sinclair even set up hologram recordings of the shows so we could watch and critique our performances before a fake audience. Whatever. Thing is, when the recording queued up, a nice, calm, appreciative audience appeared in the theater. No security with their head blasting zap rays. So find the music, get it to the projector room upstairs, then play it. Might reset security with a shot. The holotape should be where I left it. No, no wait. It's, uh, it's in Vera's dressing room, probably. May. Maybe a key to her room on my desk. Anyway, snag the key out of my room and look around Vera's room. The holotape has to be there. As for getting it to the projection booth, well, sometimes Vera used to watch from the projection booth, so she must have had a master key. Look around her room. Might be there. Do I have to spell it out? Come on. Time's wasting, and those holograms are going to be on us any second. Yeah, yeah, so what? We got bigger problems with the holograms. No, uh, no, wait, you're right. The theater piped music and sound backstage, which means those little squealers are in the corridors back there too. Uh, let's see. Um, once you break right, watch each turn in the corridor. One will be on your right, past my dressing room, and up. Oh, 
Oh, uh, my dressing room. May have left the radio on right by the table. Uh, if you could just shut it off instead of blowing it at... Uh, never mind. And there was a speaker in the prop room, too, on the wall between the entrances. And, well, walk slow. There's bound to be more. The speakers are all controlled by a central console. It's the farthest from the only door out of here, so you'd need to do a full circuit of the corridor to get to it. Once there, you'll need to shut it down, and I don't have the code. If you have the code, you can turn off all the speakers, make them settle down. Getting backstage should buy us time, just take it slow. You are preaching to the choir. Sinclair and his security don't even get me started. Those holograms, look, just get rid of them, all right? Tried to slip off stage, then they all started changing color and raising their hands. Not a good sign. <laughs> 